Good day, world, and welcome to yet another installment of Striving Young Professionals. My name is Henri Lassane, and I am, of course, a Striving Young Professional. I thank you so much for stopping by again today uh, for another installment, another opportunity, and another chance to do things better than we may have done previously and to keep moving forward. So thank you so much for the continued support. Thank you so much for the love. We'll go ahead and kick this thing right off. Let me get started with the housekeeping. I want to thank Penny. For stopping by, thank you, cuz. Thank you, Tawanda. I appreciate it. Chi Chi, thank you so much. My Perkins Clinch family, it's an awesome family. Thank you so much for stopping by and showing me some support. Uh, you guys, make sure you spread the word with other family members. Let them know what I'm doing. I'm very excited about this project. Don't really know what direction it's going to go or where it's going to go from here, but I do expect it to go somewhere and do it big. So thank you so much. Also, Kel. Uh, Kelvin Smith, thank you, man. Chief, thank you so much for stopping by, man. I appreciate you. Uh, for showing me some support. Also, uh, look for him to be doing some major things as well. Chief's doing big things. Stephanie Re uh, Reynolds, former co-worker. Thank you so much from ITT. Thank you for showing me some love. She's constantly stopping by, I'm noticing. So I do appreciate that continued support. And please spread the word with your friends. Share the videos. Tell them to stop by. Uh, and um, just find a way to find me, and I'll find them. Derek, man, thank you. I haven't heard from you in a while. So good to hear from you, buddy. I pray that all, all is well with you on your end. So thank you so much for stopping by. Spread the word as well. Also, Carol, thank you so much. Business partner, she's doing great things. Thank you so much for stopping by. And also, we have a new member of the family that stopped by my fan page and liked it. I thank you so much. Stephanie Perez, thank you. By way of Ishmael and Mizell, thank you so much. That means you guys are spreading the word and it's getting out there. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Stephanie, welcome. I have plenty of videos. If you haven't seen my previous ones, you're more than welcome to check those out. Uh, and I will have more to follow from this day on. So thank you so much. And also my man Elliot. Uh, I, I, Elliot, some of you know him as Jersey. I know him as another family name. I'm not going to put him out there on blast. But thank you, brother, so much for showing me some love. He has a great uh, blog talk that he has going on for young men. Uh, and men in general. So thank you so much for that. Also, make sure you spread the word on this one and let it be known uh, what I'm doing because I'm enjoying it and it'd just be great to have other people hear the word. So thank you so much. Uh, today's quote, you can't expect an apple tree to bear pears. Uh, I got that from another author, but I kind of expounded on it and I said the issue is the seed. And I know that's probably what he was getting to, but sometimes, you know, things go over people's heads. So I just wanted to say, you cannot expect an apple tree to have pears or to bear, bear the fruit of pears. The issue really is the seed. Now, before we get into that, a little delve into it a little further, I have to be honest with you, family. I have to be honest with you, world. Uh, I was kind of beat down. I was a little tired and um, was really kind of contemplating on if I was going to do a video or not. I must confess uh, you know, as, as much as I enjoy doing the videos and as much as I love sharing my thoughts and things with you, it does require a, some level of work. I know it may seem really simple. In, in essence, it is simple, but it does require some lead work. I mean, for me to be able to uh, have some material for you guys on a daily basis, consistent basis, and not just fluff, not just silliness, but some really concrete things that I believe in my spirit that I prayed over and, and, and want to share with you guys and, and believe somehow it's going to help someone. Uh, it, it may not help today, it could help tomorrow or for future reference. But it's kind of difficult to constantly sit there and come up with these things. And also, you know, sometimes I do a few recordings. So these recordings, you know, are, are, are a bit time consuming. I work a day job. Uh, I work a part time business. Uh, and I and, and then I come I'm doing videos so you know it's kind of a lot and then from the from the mentoring aspect I do some mentoring um, I do some some guiding and, and things like that so just all of those things and then coming and doing videos sometimes it can come become uh, tiring so I I kind of almost gave up on you guys I, I not gave up on you as far as believing but gave up on you as far as putting together this video and I I want to share something because it was really amazing timing of it all and time, God's timing and, and everything. I had a conversation with a few friends. One friend in particular, we spoke via text message and they were asking me about the videos and they saw that I was still doing it and they were happy to know that I was keeping it going. And as a result of my videos and as a result of the things that have been shared and the topic that's been shared, and I thank God for this, I thank Jesus Christ for this, that through the word that was imparted to me that, I, that, that led me to share whatever the topics may have been, you know, she said that she was able to start her consulting business again. She was in consulting and she, 
I guess, put it down, let go, gave up on it, whatever the reason was, she stopped doing it. But as a result of the videos, it encouraged her to follow her dream again and, and keep her going again. And now, you know, she has some clients, um, some old clients that want to uh, do business with her again, and she's getting new business. And, and, and she said she, she thanked me. She thanked me for the videos because it was as a result of that. And that was really humbling. That was so humbling. Uh, and, and it grounded me, so to speak. So, I, you know, I, I thank you so much for that because it did encourage me. And also then I spoke to another friend. He told me he was going through some life challenges and things were really difficult for him. And he said to me, he, he actually quoted me. You know, it was amazing. He quoted me and he said, you know, I remember what you said when you said that, you know, when you say you want something or when you declare something in the universe, oftentimes the universe likes to place obstacles in your way to see how bad you really wanted what you said or you claim that you want it. And if you give up on it, then clearly you didn't want it as bad as you thought you did. So he quoted me on that. And that just blew me away. And I couldn't believe, you know, I know he's my homeboy. And I know he'll support me in, in any endeavor. But, you know, that just really showed me that, like, like, this guy's really sitting down and watching my video. So I thank you so much. It just encouraged me. And then just to, like, just, just to put icing on the cake, because all of it was great. I had a conversation with another good friend of mine last night via phone. And I mean, this man called me with the most contagious excitement I've ever experienced from him. I mean, I was literally in my bed tired and was like, man, I just can't do it. And the conversation with him just like blew me up. Like I was so excited. I, I had so much energy. I mean, it just seeped over through the phone and on me. And he said to me, it was all because of me exposing him to a side of a world that he'd never seen before. And that this thing... Is going to just take him and he's so excited to just go to the next level in life and just do major things in life. And he wanted to thank me because he said it never wouldn't happen if I wouldn't have taken the time to just simply talk to him. And, you know, the videos and just my conversations with him just really encouraged him. So I slapped myself and I said, OK, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for getting tired. I'm sorry for getting weary um, because, you know, the heart of the faithful, it just doesn't faint. It's not supposed to. You know, we can get tired, but we're supposed to faint not. So, you know, I just want to thank you guys, those three people in particular. I want to thank everyone, but I also want to thank those three people in particular because whether they know it or not, they were obedient to the Spirit. And because of their obedience, it encouraged me because I almost gave up. And it just gets tiring sometimes. And this is, like I said, this is just, that's the whole purpose of this, to also encourage you and to also let you know, you know, be transparent with you all and let you know what I deal with and what I have to go through because it does, you know, I my part-time business, you know, that's a that's a pro, that's a process. You know, and it's not just a whole thing of, oh, you know, I say I want to start my own business and then and then like that, boom, I have my own business and everything and I'm flowing and and I got all this money like it's a process. You know, I get a lot of no's, I get a lot of don't answers. I get a lot of uh, people turn their back on me. I get a lot of people who may say they they're going to do something and they don't do something and they don't understand what they're doing to me as a human being and I don't bother people I, I don't harass folks and things like that you know just people just have to simply let me know where they stand but it's just difficult sometimes you know when you're talking to people and and people are giving you their word and they don't follow through on their word and and then but then they call you back and they need something and or they have something that they are excited about and now all of a sudden they want you to be on board for them but then when you needed them to be on board for you they wouldn't so those things just get tiring and those three individuals, they just really encouraged me. And I got up first thing in the morning. I mean, I woke up early. Uh, and I, work, I, I I've changed my habits of waking up early. And I got up a little extra earlier. And I started videos. And I was like, man, I, I can't give up. Because obviously this thing is doing something to you, world. And it's helping you guys out. And I am so grateful. And I am so humbled that it's doing that. And I just wanted to take some time to share that. Because that really changed, changed things. That changed perspective for me. That, that 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 refueled me because I, I was a little tired and you know for people to say those kinds of things when I didn't realize the effect that it was having on them it just changed me and I said man I can't give up and obviously there's a mission so I'm doing this for you guys I'm doing this for you world uh, I'm doing it for me but I'm doing it for you also so let's do it together thanks so let's get back into it uh, I'm reading a book now I told you guys I'm always reading I, I read every day for at least two hours. I'm done. The last book I recall recommending was Compassionate Samurai. I also had another friend, Lindsay, shout out to you. She said she read the book. She said it, it changed completely changed her perspective on things. So it's a really good book. I definitely encourage you to get it if you have not received it already. 
Also, I also recommend um, books to personal friends at my personal time. So the book that I'm reading right now is called No Glory Without a Story. No Glory uh, Without a Story. A Shepherd's Journey Towards Winning Souls. No Glory Without a Story. A Shepherd's Journey Towards Winning Souls. So it's so far, I just got into it. It actually was given to me by my mother from her pastor. She thought it would be great for me. Uh, not only do I read things about financial success, I tell you guys, it's about success uh, professionally, socially, individually, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually as well. So I'm always reading things to increase me. Uh, if I'm increased, then I can increase those around me. But this is essentially, it's a collection of pastors in Miami-Dade County. I'm from Miami. Uh, a collection of pastors who are sharing their story. And they're basically letting you know, hey, this is, you know, you see the outcome, but you didn't know the process. And I, I talk to you guys about the process so much because I think we lose sight of the process and how important and vital the process is. It's a very, very important thing. So they share the process. They share the ups and the downs, how difficult, and they show the humanistic side of the pastor. You know, we and even myself sometimes fall short of putting the pastor on the invincible pedestal. And we have to realize that they are human as well. They're called by God and they have greatness in them as all of us do. But they are human as well and they are not exempt from mistakes, setbacks, disappointments, uh, discouragement, and also depression. So it's a really awesome book and it's really been encouraging me. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Like I said, I just jumped into it, but I will keep you all posted on that. So the book that I'm taking part of, and if you guys want to take part of it, of it as well, is called No Glory Without a Story. So make sure you go grab that, however you may be able to find it. Uh, I'll get some more information on where you'll be able to find it on our next video. So with that in mind, you can't expect an apple tree to bear pears. The issue is the seed. I thought about this because... Sometimes I get a little complacent and sometimes I get anxious and things. I go through all those emotions and I thought about this thing because I thought about the three conversations that I had with my friends and <clears throat> and how much it changed my perspective. And I got into a rut where it was like I wanted the outcome, but I didn't want to do the things necessary for the outcome and I got tired. And the thing is, if I respond to being tired every time and I give in to the excuse and the defeat of being tired or, you know, having no time or, you know, life is just so rough right now for me and I'm just so down and out that I can't get myself out of this. If I succumb to those things and I let those things reign victory over me, then guess what? I can't expect a different result than the attitude that I am person that I'm um personally portraying at that time. In essence, I can't do one thing and expect another thing to happen. I can't do the things that apples do and expect to get pears. I don't care what I do. You could put a sign in front of the tree. You can, you can, you can shout and you can proclaim and you can do all those things that you want to do, but faith without action is dead. You know what I'm saying? Words without action is nothing but words. So, I can't do things of an apple and expect things of a pear. If my ultimate goal is that pear, you know, if my goal is to be able to constantly encourage the world, if my goal is to make this thing a world ministry, if my goal is to make this a world mindset, if my thing is to, is to make these video blogs a world video blog concept, then I can't do a in my room mindset. I can't do a I'm tired in my room mindset because these videos will never go anywhere outside of my room. So if I want pears, which is the world, then I need to become a pear tree. And I need not be an apple and expect to bear pears. So I'm encouraging you today, world, that if you want that outcome, if you have the desires from that outcome, then you need to do that. You need to do the things that are going to yield the outcome that you so desire. And don't give up. Don't stop because you're tired. Don't stop because you're discouraged. Don't stop because life is is happening. Don't stop for those things. Those things are not reasons to stop on what God has placed in you because you have the burning desire to do it and you have it for a reason. So please, please, please don't stop it because someone, someone is supposed to grow and become nourished from the fruit that is in your spirit to give to the world. So if you want pears, then you need to be a pear tree, <laughs> so to speak. Be a pear tree. Otherwise, don't be an orange tree or a tangerine and expect pears. Don't sit here and say, why won't I bear pears? Because you're not a pear tree. 
So you need to position yourself to do that. And I'm encouraging you to do that, world. Thank you so much for y'all love. Thank you so much for doing this. I'm telling you, man, you guys don't know how much you all fuel me and uh, how much the enemy tries to keep me and how much I myself sometimes try to keep me from keeping it going in this situation. So thank you so much for helping me out and being that other half of my fuel and keeping it going. So I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Be sure you spread the word. Hey, as always, you can stop by and check me out, www.strivingyoungprofessionals.com. That is almost done. That's another thing that's taking a lot of time. Um, so I'm telling you, but it's going to be awesome. Look forward to it. It's my blog website. So www.strivingyoungprofessionals.com. Make sure you go by my Facebook fan page and you like it. Striving Young Professionals, my fan page. Go by and like it. Also, you can check me out on Twitter. You follow me, I follow you back. SY Professionals is my Twitter page. Also, you can find me on YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube. You can like the videos below and you can subscribe up top. That also is SY Professionals as well. So thank you so much, world. I'll see you again. Until the next time, see you at the top of your passions. Thank you.